An emergency is no time for on-the-job training. It is recommended that you familiarize yourself with the contents of this video. The emergency response kit, recommended practices, and installation procedures before an emergency occurs. This video is not a substitute for in-depth training or specific handling techniques or emergency response procedures. In the event of a leaking valve or fitting, it is critical that appropriate steps be taken immediately to mitigate the leak. Anyone involved in capping a leak should follow their company's procedures and manufacturer's material safety data sheets, MSDS, regarding personal protective equipment. Note that in the event of an actual tank car leak, you would be required to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment. For purposes of this video demonstration, the participants are only wearing minimal safety equipment. Now we'll demonstrate installing the cover cans for the sample valve and thermal well. If the leak is from the sample valve or the thermal well, these two fittings can also be capped with cover cans. To do this, use the small I-beam that is 3 inches high and 18 inches long with one of the two small cans attached to each end of the I-beam. Clean the gasket sealing surface around the leaking fitting. Install the bleed valve assembly in one cover can and install gaskets on both cans. Set the cover can with the bleed valve over the leaking valve or fitting. It is not necessary to cover the other non-leaking fitting with the other can. It may be necessary to remove one angle valve handle which will be under the I-beam. Be sure that the second can is located so the center of the I-beam is directly under the compression screw jack. After the small I-beam is positioned under the bridge, follow the procedure covered earlier for the liquid angle valve. Remember, once a capping kit has been used to secure a leak, the shipper will be required to obtain an emergency exemption from the U.S. Department of Transportation if the tank car is going to continue to be moved. In addition, overhead clearance must be considered since the kit is installed above the usual high point of the tank car.